Okay, so this is the start of a fresh burn. This is the PB&J ice cream. It is raspberry jelly, ice vanilla cream, peanut butter sauce. So I'm going to start my little burn experience with this candle so I can give my best review my perception of the candle so as you can see we have the standard white wax with all the dust particles in my background okay this is real real TV you guys I do need to dust all right so <laughs> Um, it has the nice, as you can see, mid-size ropey wicks. Um, the packaging, I think it is very um, thematic. It's nice. It has the sprinkles. It has that um, jammy, purpley color. And um, it does have, I just noticed that, the limited edition stamp. So um, we're going to get right into it and I'll update you guys as we go along. Okay, so as you can see, very, very minimal pooling. It has this um, circular triangle pooling. It has not done a complete circumference, but I just had to come back. I am sitting in my smaller bedroom and sitting here just feet away from my um, computer desk, I'm already smelling it. So that's why I'm coming back so early to let you guys know what I'm smelling right now. I am smelling the Wild Berry Jam Donut. It is very heavy, it's very jammy. I definitely get that. So I am hoping that I will eventually pick up the peanut butter sauce or the peanut butter smell. So we'll be back, you guys. Okay, so we're back. We have a complete circumference of pooling, probably about a fourth of an inch down. You guys, this candle is definitely worth this. It's worth it. I am really enjoying it. Um, as I walked up my staircasing, this bedroom is to the left side. And as I got midways into the staircasing, I could definitely smell it. The first thing that continues to come to mind is the Wild Berry Jam Donut Note. It is very berry. Um, the berry is very intense. However, I do smell an underlying peanut buttery type of note I think that this candle is well balanced I really do and so far I'm enjoying it so I'm gonna burn it probably for another 30 minutes to an hour and then I'm going to put it out and we will relight it again another day hello so this is the second burn as you can see it did mushroom some so i did not dip the wicks um i forget to do that <laughs> so again this is the pb and j ice cream scented candle so we're about to go into our second burn second day and um i burned a very very small amount so we're gonna see how it performs in my main bedroom. It is a much larger space than the initial space. Okay, so every time I turn the camera on and look at this, I notice something different about it. You see the little stamp down there where it says new and vaulted and it has it as a new scent. Um, I'm sure this is a new blend, but this is a really good candle, you guys. So we're about an hour in into the second burn. Um, it is mushrooming. It is doing some mild suiting, as you can see here. But I definitely need to clip the wicks after this um, second burn. So it has pulled a complete circumference in the candle. I am in my large bedroom space. It is filling up this entire space. I was just recently in the main um, 
bathroom, the bathroom part of the bedroom. And um, I was getting heavy whiffs of that peanut butter. And what I'm learning with candles is almost like a concentration thing with me. If I think about what I'm supposed to be smelling or the scent note that I'm looking for, I am more prone to noticing it, if that makes any sense. Um, however, the most permanent note, of course, is the um, jam or the jelly aspect of it. It is definitely very potent. However, you do get that just underlaying fragrance of a um, peanut, peanut butter, some type of peanut butter. Do I think that this is completely what I get when I'm eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Um, not really, because I don't get a whole lot of vanilla. Very, very mild undertone, very, very minimal undertone of vanilla. But um, all in all, this is a fantastic candle, you guys. I'm currently burning it in um, the bedroom space i do think that this is more of a main area type of candle like um, an eating kitchen or your kitchen space it does create a nice vibe but it's not a problem in the bedroom i'm not against burning in the bedroom um i did it for um research purposes just to see how well it performs in this particular space and it is performing. I can smell it as I'm midway in the staircasing coming into the bedroom area, coming up to the bedroom area. And it is super nice, you guys. So do I think that this is worth purchasing? Definitely, I definitely think that this is worth purchasing. Again, I do apologize about the limited. Um, I know everyone is not able to get their hands on this candle, but with great hopes, hopefully more will show back up and you're able to get one. Do I think it's hoard, hoard worthy? Yes, I do. Um, first reason being that it's a limited candle. Um, when they're limited like this and it's such a nostalgia type of candle with something as simple as peanut butter, I definitely think that this is a collector's candle, although I don't consider myself to be a collector, but I do think that this is a collector's candle. Um, definitely hoard worthy in my opinion. So I am glad that I was able to get the quantity of candles that I'm glad that I was able to get the quantity that I was able to get. Would I possibly pick up one or two more if I ran into them? Definitely I would because this is also a nice candle that I would consider gifting to someone. Also, very nice candle. Really enjoying it. Um, let me know what you think about it if you have it in the comments below or if you've had the previous ones. This is the first one that I have ever experienced. So let's just have some commentary about what you guys feel and think. I am in a dark room, so please excuse the lighting, but most importantly, it's what I'm saying to you. So again, this is my thoughts and review on the PB&J Ice Cream Candle by Bath & Body Works. And do not forget, you, yes you, you are great. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.